Hello, uh, today I'd like to show you my item to binary decoder that I've made as part of a storage tool that I'm working on. This is a machine that will allow you to input an item and it will give you a 9 bit binary code that you've assigned to that item. This is heavily inspired by a video that Palapala made a few years ago and by a design that he made. And I will have that linked in the description because it explains things a lot better than I can. And I would recommend that you check it out. So how does this work? Well, you put an item into this input chest. It will go into the top of minecart. This system will launch the piston bolt when it detects the item going into the top of minecart. The minecart, or the hopper minecart, will travel under all of these chests, and there are 54 chests in total, because it is 9 bits and 6 chests per bit. And the hopper minecart will scan all of these chests above it for the item that you've put in. Currently, this chest has 4 blocker items, which is important, but it doesn't have an item that you'll be searching for. In each of these chests, you will have three stacks and 55 items, because that is the comparator threshold for two signal strength. These chests have comparator outputs going two signal strength in two ways. Anyway, the hop minecart will go under these chests, and it will pick out the item that you've put in, say I put in redstone dust, it will pick out redstone dust from all of these chests. The system will detect that, and it will lose signal strength in one of these redstone dusts. That will unlock the hopper above the chest, so the item gets returned on the way back. And it will also power this rail line here. Or at least part of this rail line. As you can see, the rail line alternates between powered rails and activator rails, because if you power a powered rail, it does not power activator rails next to it. And that is detected by an observer which will go into this, or these rail lines. And that will be detected by these observers, which will power these droppers, and there is an item in the bottom droppers of all of these. And we'll go into the top one, the comparator will detect it, and display it on these lamps. Let's give it a go. So if I put in redstone dust, this will launch at 20, at 10 blocks per second. It's very slow, but it has to be because Hop My Cards can only pick up or can only search for items 10 times per second. But as you can see, it's given me the number 2. And if I go look into the second bit, that's where Redstone Dust is. The ID item is also returned to this chest. Of course, in an actual system, you would take the item out of a shulker box and return it to that shulker box and break the shulker box because sorting individual items with this would be extremely slow. And I'm going to show you it work with a few other items. Currently, I've only got redstone dust, block, torches, and activated rails encoded into this. But if you want to add more, which you would, you would just put an item into a chest for each bit that you want it to have. So you want it to have the first, third and fourth bit, you would put one in this group, this group, and this group. And you get the idea. If I put redstone block in, it'll give me some more things. The hoppers will unlock above the chests that did have the item in, and the item will get returned to that chest. Anyway, uh, that's all I really have to show for this video, uh, and thank you for watching, hopefully you found it enjoyable or useful, and uh, yeah, have a nice day, uh, see ya.